Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your scheduled providers. Let's get started. Step 1. A scheduled provider marries your providers and your scheduler. This is the method in which we take your providers and insert them into your schedule. Select Housekeeping, Scheduler, and Scheduled Providers from the menu bar at the top of your screen. This will bring you to a list of all the providers who are assigned to any given office. You're able to do a couple different things with the providers from this view. Namely, you can rearrange the order of them and you can do that by flagging a provider and using the arrow keys on the function bar so that you can rearrange the order of them. Alternatively, you can sort them by alphabetical order by clicking this button right here. Note that the order of the providers in this list will be reflected on your scheduler as well. Step 2. Press the green plus sign to add a scheduled provider and reveal the detail view. Note that you can only add a scheduled provider if you've already created the provider themselves. There are two tabs, General and Special Shifts slash Days Off. Under the first heading, Detail, begin by selecting the location you are adding a provider to, followed by who the provider is themselves. Then, set the minimum appointment duration and the maximum occupancy for their appointments. Minimum appointment duration indicates the shortest appointment that this provider will schedule. Maximum occupancy indicates the maximum number of people that can be scheduled in one time slot for this provider. You can use the checkboxes at the bottom of the screen to choose whether the provider in question is always available, like if they'll see patients all the hours that this location is open. Or you can set if they're temporarily unavailable because they're on an extended leave or they're no longer with your facility. Vacation time should be recorded using the special shifts function outlined in the next step. Please note that if a provider works at two or more locations, you will need to make an entry for each relevant location. Next, go down to the schedule section and set up the provider's schedule according to their hours of work. Note that you won't need to do this if you set that they're always available. And if you ever want to remove a day from the list, you can flag it and then click the recycling bin icon. Step 3. The last tab in the scheduled providers panel is special shifts slash days off. Special shifts are generally used to specify coverage for other providers or days off. Here's an example of how it might be used. If this provider is only scheduled Monday to Friday, but they occasionally work weekends, you can enter those special shifts here by pressing the green plus sign and inputting the following details. Start and end date, start and end time. To record a day off, add that date and select not available at all. Also indicate if you'd like to apply to other locations as well. You're able to add as many dates and times as you need. And if you're adding a shift for the weekend, be sure that Saturday and Sunday are already marked as a day that the clinic is open under housekeeping, contacts, and offices. Step 4. You can return to the full list of your scheduled providers at any time by selecting Show All Providers from the function bar. And once you're happy with your list, head back to the scheduler to ensure that the changes were accepted by the system. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. See you soon.